So we're here for my monthly budget. I get paid once a month. So stay tuned to see how I spend my money this month. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind. Hello everyone, Marlene aka Snowgardener307 here with you today. And we are here to talk my monthly budget. As I said in the intro, I get paid once a month. So the budget that I do is for the entire month. So we've got our friends here joining us. We've got our Fred Jr. And we've got our Georgette just looking on, cheering us on. So let's go ahead and talk about how I do my budget. I do want to point out for those of you guys that may be new, my husband and I each do our own budgets. And of course, I help my husband with it. And you will see here in the next day or two, his weekly, bi-weekly budget coming up. So I help him and I film it, and he decides what he wants to do with his money. We each have our own bills. I know that's different from a lot of people, but I just like to let people know. So here is our July calendar, and I am doing my payday for June 30th. This is my payday that lasts me for the entire month of July for all the bills, all of the spending money that I need or that I think I need. So let's go ahead and flip this around, and I want to show you guys before I zoom in, this is the latest form of my paycheck to paycheck budget sheet. I absolutely love this form because I have plenty of room for what I need in my budget. That's the nice thing when you make your own form. Sometimes it's hard to find what you need. And especially being a monthly budgeter, it was really hard. I love the budget mom and I love her printables that I purchased quite a while ago. But with having one paycheck a month, there just weren't enough lines for me to do everything. So the paycheck that we're doing right now is for June 30th of 2021. And our highlighter color that we're rocking is this purple color, I guess. I don't know what color it is. So let's go ahead and talk about income. Just so you guys know, we do not disclose our amount of our actual amount of income, but I do like to let you guys know what our income sources are and how much we are working with for the month or for the pay period. So we have my paycheck. We then have some miscellaneous income that has come in and I am using some income out of sinking funds this month. So the total amount that we are working with, and I keep saying we, but just, just so you guys know it's me, but we are working with is $5,545.72. We have a lot of bills to pay. We have some extra bills to pay. I purchased some things on credit cards this month that I want to get paid off fully. So you're gonna see some credit card payments that you normally don't see. And I did this because of sales, different things like that. So let's go ahead and get this bill section so you can see all of the bills that I'm going to be paying. And I really stink at this filming stuff, you guys. So if you've never joined me before, I apologize now. So bills, let's talk about the first bill. So I've got my car payment and it is due on the 5th. And it is $644.86. I do want to point out a difference on my PDF. Right here, I set mine to say round up instead of budget and actual. I don't have the time to do a budgeted expense video and then an actual. So this is how I've used this. And just so you guys know, I do have a rough draft that I'm looking at because things change throughout the month. And so $644.86, our roundup, we're rounding up to a total of $650, so that's $5.14. And then my hubby and I, we share several expenses and split the mortgage and stuff. And so this month it ends up that I am going to be paying him $155 because that's already even. We're not doing any roundup. Then I do use Epidemic for all of my music on YouTube. It is a monthly expense, but I really enjoy having different music. So it's $15 a month. Then a Verizon is my next bill. And just so you guys know, this is going to be going up next month because my daughter has purchased a new phone. So she'll be paying me the difference for that. And I'm also adding my son to my phone plan. He was with his father before, but now he's going to be added to mine. So when you see that go up, that's why. 
Then I've got electricity and electricity has went up as well. I am on an equal pay, but recently, I believe it was a month or two ago, it went from 60 something up to 78. So apparently we weren't on the correct equal pay, but that happens. So we're gonna go ahead and round up $2 for that. Then FNB is First National Bank. This is my large credit card that I try to pretend like it doesn't exist. The good news is you guys, the interest rate on this card is phenomenal. So $350.57 is the minimum. And so we're gonna be rounding up $4.43. And I'm sorry, my pen again has stage fright. For those of you guys that have watched my videos before, you know my pens often don't work as soon as I start filming. And so my husband's snow machine payment is $314.69. This is the type of payment right here that I pay to help pay for half of the mortgage. So for example, this is not my snow machine. Yes, I'm paying for it, but it, it you know, it all comes out in the wash. And then Home Depot, it's regular payment is, I gotta write the 22nd, so we pay $30 and no roundup on that. And then this is why I'm using my sinking funds. My car registration is due this next month. And so of course I have the 31st here. I am buying it a month early and those are $349.41. So I am doing a roundup of 59. And then Zulily, I can't even remember what I bought on here. That's bad, right? So $59.96 is how much I charged. So I'm paying that in full. So a four cent roundup. Then Old Navy, these were clothes for my daughter and I for vacation. And that came to $265.01. So I'm actually rounding up $4.99 for that one. And then my Hyatt card, this was a little bit of vacation stuff. And so it is $83.65. So I'm rounding that up as well. And then my last card is my Wells Fargo card. And that was $35.13. And we're going to round that one up for $87. Now, normally I have a line right here that I can go ahead and total my roundups. But unfortunately, I don't because normally I total up what my bills are and then I total up what my roundup is above and then give a grand total. So I think I'm going to just write kind of small and do the same thing that I normally do. So let me grab my calculator out here. Hopefully you guys can see that. So we've got car payment plus my husband's payment plus epidemic plus Verizon. Oops, I almost forgot to put that period in there. And electricity and First National Bank, Snow Machine, Home Depot. You guys, I am so excited. I'm gonna give you a spoiler right here. Home Depot is going to be paid off. Oh, and I forgot I had a pizza in the oven because you know, here on the channel, we're keeping it real. So let's write this total down really quick and then I will go check on the pizza. And so it may be a minute before I come back because we are having gourmet frozen pizza for dinner. And no, it's not gourmet. It's whatever I got on sale. Be right back. All right, back, got the pizza out of the oven. It's all good to go. Let's add up our roundup total. And the roundup, to remind those of you guys that maybe do know and let people know that have never watched before, this roundup right here, my husband and I both do it every single month and it is going into a capital one 360 savings account and we are taking this money and this is going towards our honeymoon we used all of our honeymoon money last year to pay over ninety thousand dollars in debt off in one year and i wish that that was all of our debt but it's not but we're still we're still working one penny at a time. So my roundup this time is going to be twenty six fifty eight for the bills. So we're going to do twenty five fifty three forty two plus the twenty six fifty eight. So that gives us a grand total of twenty five eighty or two thousand five hundred and eighty. Let's subtract that from fifty five forty five seventy two. 
and that gives us $2,965.72 for the rest of our categories. So now let's talk sinking funds. I have a lot of sinking funds and I am not funding them all, but I do have quite a few. The first one that I'm gonna put on here is an unusual one. I am going to add Saveopoly. And let me tell you guys why I am doing this. I did my weekly check-in and let me grab Saveopoly. Actually, I'm just gonna flip it so you guys can see. This is Saveopoly right here. It is a savings challenge that we do. And I don't wanna zoom in and out but most of you guys have probably seen this. I did our roll for 628. I did that earlier today when I filmed another video and we owe $27 into this. Normally our Saveopoly comes out of our cash envelopes. We were towards the end of the month and there wasn't a lot of money to take out of the cash envelope. So I decided just to put this into the budget. My husband and I are splitting this together. All of the money that goes into Saveopoly is a 50-50 so that we can, uh, actually celebrate our first anniversary. That's what Saveopoly is going towards. So the budget for that is $27 because that was the space that we land on. And normally you're not going to see this in my monthly budget, but like I said, things happen. So $27 and I am going to do some additional roundup. I'm going to go ahead and do a $3 roundup. And then I've got my birthday category. I have actually, I'm going to change this. I just did this in the last video. This is going to be my gift category from now on. I have four different dividers or cash sinking funds. I don't have envelopes, just so you guys know, um, that I put in for, and they total $68. Sorry, that was a really awkward, long explanation for something very simple. I have one for my daughter, one for my son, one for my husband, and then a general one. And this can be birthday gifts, graduation gifts, wedding gifts, baby shower gifts, whatever I need. And then I have got back to school for my son. It's getting $10 and it's getting no roundup. My car, I'm going to throw $50 into that one. No roundup for that one. Christmas, I always put $100 into. And as we start getting closer to Christmas, I might actually up this, I'm just not sure. My clothing fund is going to go ahead and get $20. Friendly TV, which is the streaming service that I love. It has Hallmark on it and I love Hallmark. Right now I'm watching The Good Witch. I don't know if any of you guys watch that, but I just love it. And then my garden is going to get $20. And you know what? Let me look at something really quick. My garden was overspent and I want to get that evened up. So let me pull this out and see. Actually, so my garden right here, I'm negative 22. So I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to 25 so that I can get that back to, back to what it needs to be. And so 25 for that. And then of course there will only be $3 in there. So I, you know, we'll figure it out. $25. Then my giving fund is going to get $20. I'm going to be trying to save my giving fund until Christmas time so we can adopt a family. And I believe my husband is going to put his money in for that too. So that should be a lot of fun. And Hulu, I'm going to do $5. All of these are even. So we are not putting anything in here. Then I've got land tax. And it is going to get $32. And we are going to do a $3 roundup. Oh, let me scoot you guys on up because, yes, we are using every single line this time. Normally, we don't. Land tax. Then we have my personal care envelope. And, again, this one is negative. And I believe that this will be enough. But let me double check again really quick before we get too far in this. I think I have a negative 55 Let's see. Yep, negative 55. So if I do 75, that will be a positive 20 in there. So that is good for me. And then pet is going to get $75. No roundup for that. Sam's Club is going to get $50. And no roundup for that. And I have forgotten something. I have my rough draft right here and I skipped something. 
birthday or gift, back to school, car. Oh, I found it already. Out of alphabetical order, children. My children, between the two of them, are going to get $130 with no roundup. So we're in the same situation as far as how I'm going to write our totals here. So let's go ahead and add these up and figure out how much we have going into my sinking funds for the month of July. It is so hard to believe that we are already into July. And here in Wyoming, where we live, the summers are so very short. And I just don't want to see it be gone already. It's so hard. And I know you guys are like, it's not gone. There's still time. And I know that, but it's just one of those things. All right. So $714 and our roundup, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. So I'm going to do the same thing. $11 roundup. We're going to add that together. So that is going to give us $725. And let's see, we had 29, 65, 72. And we're going to go ahead and subtract 725. So that is going to leave us $2,240.72. Did I do that right? Something just doesn't look right. $7.25. Why is that $7.25? Yep. Oh, yeah, I did something wrong on my rough draft. So not going to be able to use that for money anymore for the totals, but that's okay. We'll just make sure we're doing a good job. Now we're going to jump over to cash envelopes or cash dividers. We will not be doing any roundups, so I'm not going to use this column at all. So we've got our food category, and then we have got another food category. So our budget for our food category, this is a big change for us. So we're doing $600. And then we are doing another food category. I still haven't decided what to call it. It is going to be for when we travel out of town and when I do stock up shock shopping. So maybe this can be called stock up food. I don't know. I don't know that name. I'll come up with something. So we're going to put $200 a month into this. So what we had been doing is we had been doing $200 a week for food. And when I went out of town, I would just try to keep it within that. It's getting harder and harder to do that. So I decided to lower our actual food budget for to $150 a week, but use this $200 throughout the month whenever I need it. So just so you guys know, when I say food, this means all food. It means groceries. It means eating out. It means anything and everything to do with food. So between the two, we still have $800. Then my husband and I both put $25 into our miscellaneous fun fund. This right here is not necessarily, you know, a fund like a lot of people have an, oh, you know what fund. That's not what this is for. This is for us to be able to have a little bit of money to purchase things that we want to. And then we have our home fund. My husband and I each put $50 into this and we are saving what is left over each month that we don't spend and putting it into our home sinking fund. We are hoping to have a home sinking fund of $10,000. And it's just because with when you own a home, you just never know what's going to happen. And then I have $150 in allowance. And let's see, did I get everything? Nope. I am not doing good at transferring stuff. So gas or fuel for my car is going to get $200. So we've got the 600 and the 200, 25, 50, 150, and 200. So $1,225. And we're going to go ahead and subtract that from our 224072 minus 1225. So that is going to give us a leftover of 1,015.72. I'm just gonna put an arrow right there because this is the column we have been using for most categories. And then we're gonna talk about our extra debt. So I am excited to say that Home Depot is going to be paid off. So let's take a look and see what we have left in our Home Depot card or on our Home Depot card. Let me go through here. Okay, Home Depot. Pull this one out really quick so we can talk about it. I just transferred this over to a new debt snowball monthly check-in 
and the Home Depot only has $335.69 left. I had planned on it having, let's see, I can tell you on my rough draft, let me tell you how much I planned on paying to Home Depot. So we planned on paying $559.29. So this last month with extra debt payments, I was able to pay $223.60 by doing my Transfer Tuesdays. If you guys haven't checked out my Transfer Tuesdays, make sure you do that. Unbelievable with uh, just the weekly money movement on how much you can pay. So we're going to go ahead and take care of this right now. So on 7-1, we're going to go ahead and do our payment along with our snowball, but we're just going to go ahead and put snowball. We're going to put $335.69. And that is going to leave us with $0 left. So our Home Depot is paid off. Now, in my last video, I let you guys know that I might be putting some more stuff on my Home Depot account. When I do this, which I most likely am, and we're probably looking at six to $700 is what we're looking at. It's going to be at 0% interest. And so it's not going to be my debt snowball, but I am going to try to cash flow it if I possibly can. So just stay tuned to see that. So we've paid $335.69. So let's see, we already paid $30 in the bills. So we need to pay $305.69 to Home Depot. Now, that means we still have some snowball left over, right? So our debt snowball with Home Depot in, our home, our snow, our bleh, 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 bleh. sometimes words are hard, is $611. So 611 minus 305.69 equals 305.31. And this is going to be going to the first national bank. So that means we're going to be paying an extra 305.31. And we are going to be paying the minimum payment on that card which is 370.57. So I am going to be paying a whopping $675.88 to my first national bank card. So excited. I just love to see debt going bye-bye. And I know that some people are like, if you like to see debt going bye-bye, then why are you keeping or thinking of using your credit card again? You guys, credit cards are not the devil. Not for me, especially if I can use them smart and get 0%, it's going to be okay. So that's going to leave us 404.72 down here. I'm going to go ahead and put $100 into my emergency savings because I am trying to get this built back up. So we're going to go ahead and put $100 into that. Then we're just going to have our rollover left over, and that will be 304.72. And that, that makes our total 404.72, which when we subtract that out, gives us our zero based budget. Now here in the middle of this sheet, you'll see that I have a total section. I love being able to have this right here and just see it at a glance. So for our income, for all forms of e income, we have $5,545.72. Then for our bills, we have $2,965. That's not right. I'm already trying to mess it up. That's what was left over. We have $2,580 in bills. And then for our sinking funds, we have $725. For our cash envelopes, we have $1,225. And for our extra debt, we have $611. And for our extra savings, we have $404.72. Now, the design between this for the total is not to include the income, obviously. We want this is another double check to make sure that we've done everything correctly. So we cross our fingers and hope that we have used our calculator right. And this is just that double check right here. And thank goodness it all adds up to $5,545.72. So we do have a match there. 
Now we are going to go ahead and get our funds ready for our cash envelopes. So let me go ahead and flip over to the Budget Mom PDF for the cash envelope breakdown. And this, of course, as we talked, is for the paycheck for June 30th, 2021. And I have a rough draft that I'm going off of, but this rough draft is going to be wrong because we added an extra $5 into, what do we do, garden? This is when I wish that things were live and you guys could tell me what I have done that I've changed things. Yep, garden, I changed that to 25. So let me change that on my rough draft because of course then it messes everything up. Rough draft there. So that changes that, and that changes that to that. And then, perfect. All right, here we go. This breakdown is so nice. If you guys have never used a breakdown sheet before, I tell you what, it will just make your life so much easier. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can actually see what I'm writing. So what I'm going to do now is I am taking all of my categories and dividing it to into the cash amounts that I want. So the first one that I'm going to do is food, and it is $600. I used to get all hundreds. I've decided, of course, because I'm doing 150 each week, to get four hundreds and four fifties for this. And then for my gas, I don't like having all big bills, so I'm going to do two fifties and five twenties, and that was for $200. Then miscellaneous and fun, we're doing $25. So $120, $15, home is $50. And me, right, for my allowance is $150. How much do you guys give yourself to spend? Is it a percent of your income? Is it just an amount that you decided to, you know, that you wanted each month? I started myself at $100 and then I started using it for a few different things. So I decided to up it to $150 and that is enough for me to where I feel like I can buy things I want and prioritize things without feeling like I am, you know, missing out on stuff because I don't know about you guys, but with me, if I feel like I'm missing out on stuff, I tend to spend a lot more money. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a mental thing, but it's just one of those things. Back to school for my son is $10 and then car is $50. And children, I'm just looking because my rough draft, I've changed a few things, right? As I found out how much my paycheck was, what I was pulling money from, and for my car, I have a different total over here than what I just wrote down that matches what we just talked about. So as we know, budgets are fluid. They're ever evolving. We're always changing them week by week, month by month, maybe it's a yearly change that you do. But apparently me, I change it hour by hour because I just did this. But that's okay. It'll be okay. We'll figure it out. I just know that with the other dollar amount that I had, I was doing it because I wanted to stockpile that money, but I put more into savings, so that's fine. So friendly then garden then holidays. Sometimes it's hard to talk and look at stuff at the same time or write. I've been known to either write or type what I'm saying to an individual when I try to multitask or as in my recent trainings that I've had in the few past years, switch task. I don't know how many of you guys have ever heard of that term before. But they call it switch tasking because there's proof that nobody can do more than one thing at a time. So some people are just really good at being able to switch between tasks very quickly. So it seems like they're doing more than one thing at a time. 
And I've actually taken part in some studies on these. And they're kind of fun. It's kind of crazy how it works. So we've got 75 going into pet. And then for Sam's Club, we have got 50. And yet again, I have forgotten something. Oh, no, I didn't. Nope, we're good. This is what I need right here. So we've got our piggy savings challenge. And we are doing $27 for that. I will show you guys what that is. Some of you guys probably already know. But we've got that. So that is all of the categories. And I'm sorry, you guys couldn't even see what I was writing. Holy cow. Well, that's life, everybody. So let's go ahead and add these all up. See what we've got. Young and we didn't want to be exposed Even though it was cold We were never wearing proper clothes Always trying to be cool Trying to be those back so now we have $1,819 that we are going to be stuffing. And I'm going to use one of the Budget Mom sticky notes just because these are so super easy to do. Absolutely love them. You get a huge stack of sticky notes, so it makes it very easy. So I need 19 ones, which equals $19. I need 12 fives, which equals $60. I need 10 tens, which equals $100. I need 17 20s, which equals $340. I need 12 50s, which equals $600. And I need seven $100 bills for $700. And when you add all of this up, it equals $1,819. So now I'm going to go ahead and run to the bank and I will be right back. There is the cash. Let's get stuffing. So I went to the bank, was able to get all the cash that I needed. I know sometimes people have said they haven't been able to get the denominations that they need. So I'm taking my cash envelope breakdown out really quick. And I'm going to go ahead and flip back to my budget sheet. But I just realized something. And I don't know where the sheet is that I need. I want to do my debt snowball for my other debt snowball. Where did I put it? There are so many sheets in here. Most of these are blank, as you guys can see. These are my extra sheets. I found it, it was right where it was supposed to be. And here it is. So, new debt snowball. Wow, words are so tough sometimes. New debt snowball, right? We have now paid off and we are now moving on to our next one. So this is my first national bank card. I do wanna let you guys know, as you can already see, it is a five-figure debt. I have $11,413.04 on this card. Unbelievable. I do want to tell you guys a little bit about this card. It is a very low interest. I decided to start keeping track of a few things that have to do with this card right here. The annual fee, which just got added into this total, so it bumped it up $99. The annual fee is $99. It is due next year, 615 of 22. So I literally just had it charged. I will determine by next June if this card is worth keeping or not to pay the $99. This is not a rewards card, but the interest rate right now is 3.25%. That is not an introductory. That is the percent on the card. It is variable, but the highest that this card has ever gotten is 5.5%. And then I figured since it was right there, I would check out my FICO score right with First National Bank. And I was impressed because it has went up and it went up to 811. Now, of course, I know that these can vary greatly. I really think most of my scores are still in the sevens, but still a lot of fun. So I put this stuff right here really just to share with you, but also so that I know what I'm dealing with, how much it costs to have this card and where we're going from there. Normally I don't do this, right? So we're going to go ahead and use this right here to write what we're doing right now. So seven one, we are making a payment. So we're just gonna put payment right here. And our payment is 370.57. 
And then on the same day, 7-1, we're going to go ahead and do our snowball payment. And this time it is 305.31. Just so you guys know, the next snowball payment that I make next month for this card alone is going to be $711. How amazing is that, you guys? I can't wait until that $711 gets to go into my savings and gets to go towards my emergency savings account as I as I add the payment, sorry about that, and starts to be able to be invested. I am starting to look at passive sources of income. Of course, right now, I am, I have my Etsy shop, which gives me very little income, but that's fine because I enjoy it. I love making the printables for myself, so why not share them with everybody else? I am doing some surveys right now where I make, you know, a little bit of money each month that goes towards my debt snowball. But I am really interested in passive income such as real estate. So that is my goal. My long term goal is to be able to buy some real estate and have some rentals and such. So already this account has went from 1,104, sorry, 1,000, no, 11,000. $413.04 down to $10,737.16. I anticipate that by July, by August 1st, this will be below $10,000 because on August 1st, we'll be paying $711 and I will be making payments throughout the month. Let me show you guys really quick on this debt snowball check-in. So right here, my goal payoff is 2-1 of 21. This is a big stretch goal, just so you guys know. My minimum monthly payment is $350. My snowball payment is $711. So that means each month I'm going to be paying $1,061. Oh, Yorkie moments. So that means I am going to be paying $1,061 to this one card every single month. Now my stretch goal is to pay $1,700 to this card because if I pay $1,700, I can make this February goal. Let me go see what the Yorkie's barking at. Be right back. Yorkie was barking at a deer in the front that ate all of my petunias out of one of the planters. But hey, we're feeding the wildlife. All right, you guys. So I forgot to show you guys that after I got so excited about paying off the Home Depot card. So we are moving that debt snowball to the First National Bank credit card and we're going to get this paid off. We are going to strive to get that February 1st payment. February 1st payoff, I should say. All right. So here we go. Look at all this cash. I just love cash, you guys. So much fun. Woo, 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 woo. I'm sure a lot of you guys like cash, but let's make sure we've got what we need to have before we set it out. So we should have seven $100 bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Check. We should have 12 fifties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 fifties. Check. We should have 17 twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Almost ran out of breath on that. We should have 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we should have 12 fives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12, doing good so far. And 19 ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Amazing. Even though it was cold, we were never wearing proper clothes. Always trying to be cool, trying to be those bad guys smoking cigarettes. We're going to have little Georgette here join us because she's just so cute. I have some YouTube friends that tell me they have George. So I'm super excited to meet George. If you have a George or you have any fun thing, let me know down in the comments. All right, let's get started. So first thing for sinking funds, let's go ahead and do Savopoly. 
because that is at the top of the list. So let me grab it out of my folder here, out of my accordion file. So save Opoly. And it is 7-1. And we are depositing $27. So $235 plus $27 equals $262. I'm pretty sure this is enough to stay in a cabin up at the lake for our first anniversary. Super excited about that. So let's grab 27 out. So 20, 5, 6, and 7, 27. And anytime I add money to any sort of sinking fund, I count it. Because I have been known to do crazy things. And I don't want anything to be messed up because I didn't count it. So 262, 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, and 62. So save Opoly. All done. 262. We're going to go ahead and highlight that. I am a very visual person, so I love my highlighters. And... Why am I not seeing Saveopoly on my cash breakdown? Do I have enough money? Hmm. So my piggy needed 27 and my Saveopoly needed 27. And I did not get enough cash. But it's okay. I got some cash. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put $27 over here. So let me grab out 27 out of a different fund that I had. And then we shall see if I need it. Man, I tell you what, you guys, one of these days, one of these days, I swear, I'm going to film something and it's going to be right. So I've got $27 here. I'm going to put it off to the side because we're going to do the piggy down towards the end and it's 27 as well. So we'll see. I think I'm losing my mind. But save Opoly. We've got it. $27. I can't believe I forgot to put that in there. We're getting into gifts. So the first one, think, first thing we're going to do, $68. That is $17 for each one. So we're going to make four piles of 17. So we've got 10, four times. 10, 10, 10. And there's another Yorkie yapping at the door. They always want something. Love my Yorkies, but boy, are they needy little babies. So 10 and 15 for these. And if I don't let him in, we're going to have to listen to that. So let me add these two ones to each pile. And then we're going to let him in because his little yip and whine is enough to drive me crazy. For those of you guys that hate nails on a chalkboard, that's what his little whine is like for me. So we're going to let the two little boy Yorkies in. Athena was already smart and hanging out on the couch and chilling out. $17 for each one. 17 times 4 is $68. And for our gifts, we have four tens, four fives, and eight ones. Now, let's grab these and add these in. I love doing sinking funds. I don't know about you guys. I love counting cash. I love watching people count cash. It's just fun. So we're going to add 17 into here. And I have 67 already. And I've got my calculator off screen, but just know I'm using it. So that means we should have $84.00. Let's make sure we do. And we've got 10, 15, 16, and 17. And we've got lots of small bills. Next time when we count our sinking funds, we're going to go ahead and do our consolidation like we did. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, and 4. $84. Perfect. One done. Now, next one we have got is my husband. So 7, 1. We're adding $17 in. And the way that I came up with $17 is I set a budget of $200 for each person in my family. And $17 was the closest without getting into coins that I could do. So that is what it happened. And I think $200 for a birthday is a great amount. So that is what I chose to do. And when I have more funds, I'm probably going to start putting more than $17 a month in for the general gift fund, but that's where I'm at right now. So 120, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 172. That one is good to go. Then next is my daughter's birthday. 
And so six one deposit seventeen dollars. She had one hundred and thirty nine plus seventeen equals one fifty six. And I can tell you guys why I'm not counting this before I add the money in. I just did my month end sinking funds. So I know all of my sinking funds before I add this cash are correct. And that is the nice thing about just, you know, keeping up on everything. So 156, 100, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 156 for Julia. And then for Peyton, he's supposed to have 15 in here. We'll go ahead and add 17 more. And so now he should have $67. Oh my goodness. I don't know about you guys, but it is just a beautiful day outside. These are the days when, while I love my budgeting, I love gardening and I love being outside so much more, but I've got to get this stuff done, right? You got to pay bills. Unfortunately, you got to be an adult. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Is that right? 67. It should be. Oh, I found it. It was sitting right there. This is why we do this, you guys. This is why we count it. So let's try again. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. That's why I don't mess around. I count it every time because of silly stuff like a $1 bill getting left off to the side. All right. Birthdays or gifts. You guys are going to hear me call them birthdays for a while because that's what I've been calling them for over a year but I've just changed that to gifts. Back to school, we are adding $10. And this is for my son, who is going to be a junior this year, super excited. He is on track actually to graduate early if he wants to, so that's kind of a cool thing. He had some struggles in the beginning of his high school career and boy, he has turned them around. It's absolutely amazing. I feel so fortunate to be his mother as well as my daughter's mother. Okay, 195 as I get all sappy. 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. So 195 for back to school. Then we'll go ahead and highlight that. And then we have got the car sinking fund and the car sinking fund. I just paid my registration. So that was the $350 that got added in to part of my income was $350 out of that. So seven, one, we're going to go ahead and deposit 50 more dollars in. Not super happy about only having $67 in here, but it's okay. It will be okay. You just got to have faith sometimes, right? Got to have faith. Is that a George Michael song? Got to have faith? Because you got to have faith, faith, faith. You guys know what I'm talking about? Am I aging myself? So 50, 60, 5, 6, and 7. $67. Now we're going to do Christmas and clothing. But let me grab Christmas first. We did buy some Christmas presents already. So you'll see this last month, some money did come out, but we're still adding in here. And we're gonna do 550 for a total. I used to buy Christmas stuff early all the time, all the time my kids were growing up. I have no idea how much money I spent on Christmas stuff because I would buy gifts early and then I would continue buying. I just couldn't stop. Let's make sure we got 550, 100, 200, 300, 400, 550. Perfect. Then let's go ahead and do clothes. And I forgot to highlight over here. Perfect. Okay, clothing. So we're gonna add a 20 into this. I do not have a lot into my clothing. I spent most of my clothing money for vacation. Bought myself some sundresses, some bathing suits, some shorts, stuff like that. So I will not be needing anything for anytime soon. But I do like to have a little bit. So we've got 20, 40, 60, and 5, $65. I'm always the last person to buy myself clothes. So it's just one of those things. So $20 for clothes. Perfect. And then we need to get into our subscriptions because Friendly TV is one of my subscriptions. So Friendly TV right here, we're going to be adding $7 in. And that's going to make $49. And I accidentally grabbed that from behind it. 
So we are adding seven, five, six, and seven for hopefully $49. We've got 20, 40, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, $49. And I just put six one on there instead of seven one. If you guys have seen me do that already, I'm sorry. It's so hard when the month is new, when the year is new. I tell you one of the hardest things that I've been dealing with for the past year is a new name, right? When you get married or you change your name, unbelievable how hard it is to get used to that. Friendly. Perfect. So garden, we are adding $25 into this. And let's see if I can make some change. Oh my goodness. There's the dog. And did you see me? He made me jump. I was so engrossed in what I was doing that his little yip made me jump. So 20 and five, but $22 needs to go back into my account. So I need to make some change. And luckily I have some ones here. One, two, three, four, five. I've learned to start keeping a little bit of money close by. So I'm going to take 25. I'm going to put the five back in the pile I got it from. So $22 is going to go back into the account I got it from. So 22. And we have $3 to go towards next, year, next year's garden. I don't plan on spending any more on my garden this year. I have told myself, no, no, no. You don't need any more plants. I need you guys to repeat that with me. No, 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 you don't need any more plants. So garden for $3, amazing, three whole dollars. But hey, that means we're on our way to the next gardening year. All right, then giving, I do not count my giving, so we will not be counting it. We are just gonna be adding money to it and we are going to be adding $20. So let's grab that 20 out of there and slide that into the giving. Like I said, we don't count. We have what we have. We give when we need to. And I am trying to save up my giving, if I can, for that family to adopt them. So we've got... I hope that I have enough money because we have giving on here but I can't find it on the other sheet. Wow. We might be making a mess of things. So I told you guys, I've got the 27. I think I'm going to need another 20. So I'm thinking that I need 47 more dollars. We're going to leave this right here on the top of the screen because I can't apparently do anything right today. So let's see. So holidays, let's pull that out. Let's not, let's not get too sidetracked. Holidays, we are adding $20 in. When I have a good paycheck, I need to bump this up. I would like to put a couple hundred bucks in here because I don't like how low it's gotten. This is to pay for all holidays. I did just pay for my mother-in-law's Mother's Day gift, my father-in-law's Father's Day gift. And so that is part of the reason why it is a little bit lower, but I still would like to have more money. So let's make sure we've got $90 in here. 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. So we do have 90 in there. Put that away. And we're going to do Hulu next. I don't know what my brain was thinking. I apparently am having a really tough time. But we'll see. It's okay. We're just human. So Hulu, I'm going to be adding $5 into. Try to do 7-1. I'm going to have to go back and watch when I edit this video and see how many times I wrote 6-1 before I realized I was doing that. So we have got $45. Why don't you guys tell me I did that? I added five and totaled it at five. We can add the four right in there. So Hulu, $45. Whew. Subscriptions. So I have two subscriptions, just so you guys know, and they are both now stuffed. And then the next thing we need to do is land tax. Land tax. All right. And then let me go ahead and highlight Hulu because if I'm not highlighting this stuff as we go with the way that things are going, it's going to be pretty rough going. 
land tax, we are going to be adding $32 to this. My husband and I both put $32 a month in. You'll see with the deposits right there that he puts in $16 every two weeks. So we had $198 plus $32. I can't use my calculator. We have $230 in there now. I should have been able to do that in my head, but can you guys imagine if I tried to do that? Holy cow. 20, 30, and I almost grabbed a five. 32. Get this money put in here, and everything has to be straight. Very much OCD that way. So 230, let's make sure. 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 225, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Land tax is good to go. This is for six acres that we own, just so you guys know. Doo -doo -doo. I'm very singy today. Is that a word? Singy? I don't know. Maybe I'm just very happy. And having money and counting money just makes me very happy. All right, personal care. Here's another one where we were negative. So there is no money in there. So 7-1, we are going to deposit. And we are adding in 75, which is going to give us $20. I need to take the 50, 70, and 5. So this $55 is going to get added to the stack where the other money went to be put back into my checking account. And we now have $20. Got to get that one bumped up too. Personal care. Amazing. Now we're going to go ahead and do pet and our pet. I feel like our pet fund is getting pretty well filled, which is a good problem to have. So let's see. So 565. I think my husband and I need to need to talk about how high we want to let this one get just because, you know, I don't want to have so much money sitting in an account when it could be used other places, but I want to make sure that I have enough money for the pets. All right, 640. And I guess in order to make a good decision on that, I need to add up how much their grooming costs, how much their food costs, and figure out how much in a year we spend because I have no idea, you guys. That's what a responsible adult would do. And lately, I don't feel like I'm a responsible adult, but... All right, so let's get this added in here. So we should have 640. So let's check this out. And that 100 is weird. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 620, 30, 35, and 40. 640. And I know for pets, it's just one of those things that it just depends on the pets that you have. It depends on what their needs are. Some people have pets that are way needier than ours. We're very fortunate so far and they are very young still. So I know that makes a big difference. Then Sam's Club. Let's grab this out. I will be making a Sam's Club order very soon, but I haven't done it yet. So add the 50 in there. That's going to give us $180. Let's make sure that we've got 180. So we've got 50, 1, 150, 170, 180. And for anybody that doesn't know, we don't live anywhere near a Sam's Club. So most of the time, this money is spent for online orders. Um, however, as we start traveling more often, we are probably going to try to start using that money as we travel places. For children, we're going to do $130. we are going to do a $100 bill, and we're going to do three tens. 10, 20, 30. The... Three tens are going to go into my son's allowance. He gets $10 a week. He does have his own job. This is for the minimal amount of chores that he does around the house on a weekly basis, such as taking the garbage out, picking up his own room, and mowing and helping with anything I need. So not a lot, but every little bit counts. Um, I just gave him that last 20, and he threw it right into his gas tank. So I know he was thankful to get that. Then for my daughter, Julia, this is going to be going bye-bye very soon because she is going to be using this for her car. Super excited. Within a couple weeks, we should be doing that. So that is going to give her an additional $900 for her down payment. Let's make sure we've got it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 
$900 for that, we are going to go into our cash dividers. So I'm going to go ahead and scooch this down, scooch this over a little bit. I guess I don't need to scooch that. There we go. What was this money for? Oh, this was the extra money. See, you guys, I'm losing my mind. So food. I do not have a cash divider yet to divide the two categories of food. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to do for that. I know I will figure something out. I just haven't decided yet. Let me get out some new cards because we're going to need to make these for each one. And let's grab grocery. And we are going to put 7-1. Deposit. Plus 600 for a total of 600. Now, let me look at this. So what did we do? We did four 100s. One, two, three, four. And we did four 50s. One, two, three, four. Now, what I'm going to do is, and these are for four weeks, so I'm going to separate these out. There's going to be 150 for the next four weeks. So I'm going to take the rest of this money right here. I'm going to fold it in half, and then I put it into my sinking fund accordion file. So I've got 150 for grocery. Now what I'm going to do, I just came up with this on the fly because that's what I do. I am going to put, I just don't know what I want this to be called, out of town slash stockpile food. And we're going to go ahead and put today's date and deposit. And we're going to add 200. And so that is going to be $200 total. Now, what did I do for that? I did two $100 bills. Is that what I did? But I seem to be out of $100 bills. Oh my goodness, you guys. What did I use 100 in that I wasn't supposed to? Hmm. Anyway, so I was supposed to do two 100s. You know, with the way this video is going, I have no idea where that went. Because we had seven $100 bills. I know we did. We counted them. So let's just go ahead and grab 100 and 250s. And let's see what kind of mess we can create. This is what I'm going to do for right now. I am going to actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that there. But I'm going to fold these in half. So that will be my reminder that that is not the regular weekly grocery. That is for, you know, I want to have the $200 with me. Because if all of a sudden there is an amazing sell on chicken or on canned goods, I want to be able to buy it. Or when we go out of town, I want to have it with me. So there we go. Grocery and food and stock up food. All done. But I am really worried about what I did with the hundreds. I just don't know. I'm sure you guys know. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep rolling. If we don't keep rolling, this video is going to be instead of just five hours, it's going to be six hours. So we have got miscellaneous and fun. And today's date. We're going to go ahead and do our deposit plus 25 for a total of 25. So 20 and a five. Uh, that one is all set. Easy peasy. Then we're going to go ahead and do home. Let me get the right divider here. Home. Home, home, home. Get another card. So home. Deposit. Oops, man. Always messing up. Seven, one. Deposit plus 50 for $50. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting, right? We're going to see what kind of money we have left over. Okay, home, $50. We got it. We can't focus on what we've already done. As long as the cash at the end turns out okay. <laughs> which, if it does, it's going to be a miracle because you guys know I already pulled extra cash over here. Now, for me, $150, 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 1. All right, so there's that. Let's, let's put this little bit of money that we have right here and 
we are going to have to do some serious chatting with ourselves before we do our next cash stuffing because holy cow, what a mess. And there is my cash divider. Let me get this. Okay. Now, what have we done? Does anybody know what we've done? Because I sure as heck don't know what we've done. I don't know where I went wrong. We're not done yet, but I can tell already I'm supposed to have $200 for gas, and there's no way that I have $200 sitting there. And I still need $27 for the savings challenge. 60 70 75 76 77 78 79 80 I am $120 short. So there's the 20. Remember when I grabbed the 27 for the challenge and the $20. Okay, so I was missing giving. But I grabbed $20 out of the extra stack, right? And I was missing Saveopoly, which was $27. But I grabbed the $27 out of the stack. So, future Marlene here, I found the $100. I was really bad this month at transferring things from one sheet to the other. I stuffed the Christmas fund, and the Christmas fund was not on one list, but was on another list. So that's where the $100 came from. So I forgot Christmas, I forgot giving, and I forgot Saveopoly. So three funds that I forgot this month, I don't know what happened. So I'm going to have to get another $100 out. So the total that I'm actually stuffing is $1,966. I only found this after counting every single thing again. And I started watching and editing the video. And as I was editing the video, I was looking through and I'm like, you know what? Let me check all of these accounts to see if they match. Go back and forth and back and forth. And surprise, surprise, I found that missing $100. So at least there's that. This is the first time, if you guys have been watching my videos, first time and worst ever, but it happens. Keeping it real, right? On Snow Gardener 307. All right, guys, back to the video. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. There's $100 for gas. And that's going to go towards our piggy challenge, even though it's not the right denominations. Oh, we can fix part of that. Let's fix the piggy to make sure it's right. So we need 110 for the piggy. We need two fives. So at least we can have that right. Two fives and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So there's my five twenties and I am 250 short. Seven one deposit. I am going to put $200 because I'm going to have to find it, right? Because that is what I need. And that is what I had. So it's probably, maybe it was stuck together with one of the other hundreds. Maybe that's all it was. And, or the 50s or something. So car, we know that this is $100 short, but we're pretending like it's not. Because it's my channel and I can do that. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so sad that this did not turn out how it was supposed to. All right, now let's go ahead and do our piggy savings challenge. For anybody that has never watched my channel before, you have not seen my piggy challenge. So let me show you what I'm talking about because I got piggies all over on my channel. This is what I'm talking about. This is my penny challenge, my piggy penny challenge. This is a PDF in my shop. Just so you know, the PDF in my shop does not say 2021. It just says, I think it says piggy penny challenge. You get this sheet. Plus, you get a sheet of piggies to Mod Podge, your container. This is a fun thing to do with the kids. I had a lot of fun. I did it by myself. And so you can see we've got a lot of money in there. So we're going to do this. And we have got our piggies. And let's grab a highlighter. What color haven't we done? We haven't done red. Or have we? Is that red? I don't know. Let's see what other color we've got really close by. We're not getting up and messing around with anything like that. I picked four piggies and we are going to fill those right now. So I put them, I put a little X on those. So the first piggy that I picked was a 77 cent piggy. And we're gonna go ahead and color him. And the highlighter that has transferred over from another sheet, 
I am so sorry about that, but it's okay. Still super cute. So we're going to use yellow piggies this time because they're cute. So we need 77 cents. So let me grab my change. And this is how I've been doing it since the beginning of the challenge. I wanted to have fun. At the end of the challenge, we'll see if it's still fun when I'm having to count all of the change and the dollars. But it is going to be fun, dang it. So 77 cents for the first piggy. So we've got 25, 50, 75, 76, and 77. 70 cents, 77 cents down. Then the next piggy that I can see that I marked was $17.92. So we're going to do this. And the premise behind this type of challenge for anybody that doesn't know is this is the type of challenge where you start on January 1st with one penny and then January 2nd you do two pennies, but then January 3rd you do four pennies and you keep doubling it. And so this is where these dollars come from. I pick four piggies at a time because I get paid once a month. The idea is this is a 52 week challenge. So you pick one piggy a week. For me, I find it much easier just to pick all four of my piggies on my payday. So there is $17. Now we need 92 cents. 75, 85.90, and 92 as I just threw the penny on the floor. Let's make sure. So we've got 10, 15, 16, 17, 25, 50, 75, 85, 90, and 2. So let's throw this into our jar. And I tell you what, it's going to be interesting when we get to the end of the year to see if our jar equals what it's supposed to. It should. I have not taken any money out, but life is crazy. I had the right amount of money I thought when we started this and I don't now. So shows you what I know. So our next one is $9.10. And we are going to color him in yellow. Like I told you guys, very visual. And I just think piggies are super cute. So that's why you'll see most of my savings and everything our piggies and of course we have Georgette who we added to the film the YouTube family recently and she's a little piggy and she's just saving away and I tell you what I really think that Georgette is helping Fred Jr. save money so that he can go see his girlfriend Wilma in Australia you know Aaron I'm telling you it's gonna take a long time but one penny at a time dang it one penny at a time so we've got nine dollars and ten cents five six seven eight nine and ten and for anybody that's going what are you talking about with Wilma and Fred jr I know I think I already mentioned Aaron in this video I don't remember now because I've been recording for like two weeks um, I had Fred to begin with and he was a real succulent and I killed him I couldn't keep him alive. So I bought Fred Jr. to replace him. And then Aaron, a fellow YouTuber from Australia, um, bought Wilma to go along with Fred Jr. And so go check her channel out. Aaron twibbles around aimlessly. Super fun. And you know, we just enjoy having fun. All right. The last piggy, you guys, $1.26 for this one. I picked some small piggies this time. I'm going to be regretting that these next months as I have to do all the big ones. So $1.26. Perfect. $1.26. So that is our piggy penny challenge. And it sure is looking cute. Tell you what, love those little piggies. And this is our jar full of cash and coins. A lot of fun. Love saving money. I love everybody's savings challenges that does the savings challenges. I want to thank you guys all for coming with me for this crazy journey that I call my budgeting journey. It is our debt-free journey, our financial independence journey, and I'm learning what the difference is between the two. And so while I'm striving for debt-free, I have started changing my mind a little bit on stuff, how possibly it should be debt freedom instead or financial freedom. I mean, because having debt isn't the end of the world. Now having the amount of debt that my husband and I had April of last year is not good or healthy. If you haven't checked out my debt confession from April of this year, go check it out. You guys will see how much debt we had starting in April, 2020. It was unbelievable. All right. I'm super long winded. If you guys are here this long, 
please leave me a heart emoji. Let me know you made it all the way to the end because if you did, boy, you're one heck of a trooper. All right, everybody. I hope you all have an amazing day and remember to keep smiling. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.